Huh? Henry's? Another part? Doesn't get much better than this, huh? I've dreamt of this my whole life. <laughs> Listen, seriously, I've, I've wanted to do comedy my whole life. This is a dream come true, believe it or not. I've always wanted to play in the grand bar room at Henry's. <laughs> not the breakfast area or the kitchen, but the big stage. <laughs> and here I am, so really, dream, dream big, people. <laughs> seriously, keep dreaming. Don't dream this big. This is huge. But, uh, no, this is great. Anybody, anybody get, like, terrified speaking in front of, in the public? Does anybody just public speaking just scare the shit out of you? No, I mean, to, right? Isn't it to, to be a comedian and get up on stage? That takes a, that takes some that takes balls, right? Big balls, right? And I don't want to leave the women out. I guess it takes big vaginas too. So, but this is cool. I've been wanting to do. I've mean, really been wanting to do this my whole life. I get really nervous. I don't know. If, I'm one of those guys in the back. Before I go on, I am just petrified. Okay. I get nervous. I'm hyperventilating. I feel. I seriously. I feel like Kirstie Alley at a home, at a hometown buffet. You know. You know what I'm talking about. And I sweat. Holy shit. I sweat. I sweat like Jerry Sandusky at a Justin Bieber concert. <laughs> no. And I start forgetting. You know. All of a sudden, I just get brain block, and I start forgetting shit, and I don't forget. You know. You can't even talk to me. I feel like uh, Mike Tyson in a spelling bee. <laughs> But, uh, uh oh. <laughs> Wardrobe malfunction. No, anyway, but I'm a local boy. I went to St. Joseph the Worker right down the street. Right? Graduated from El Camino. Class of 82. And I spent the next four years at the Sage Bridge Cantina. <laughs> then I graduated to the Red Onion. Yeah, you remember the Red Onion? Yeah. That was me. With hair. With hair. <laughs> but uh, we are, we're, lo we're local boys, and uh, we are, uh, my brother, I was talking about we, my brother and I. And, and my brother's like 6'4", great looking guy, I don't know if you guys saw him, but he's a great looking guy. <laughs> but he, dude, was not a good looking kid. Let's, let's face it, he was ugly. And people go, oh, oh that's just his brother's brother. I don't know. The dude was ugly. He was an altar boy for 10 years. Priest didn't lay a hand on him. <laughs> That's proof. Right? I don't know what I'm mentioning. And then, hey, are, is there a lot of locals? A lot of local people been in the valley for 20 or 30 years? Yeah? But I, uh, I work out at, uh, at the old at Spectrum. But remember the old racquetball world? Anybody from there? Yeah, and the other day I was working out and something real embarrassing happened. This beautiful girl walks in and I'm making small talk with this guy and this beautiful girl walks in. And I go, see that girl is hot. He goes, uh, dude, that's my sister. I go, oh shit, I'm sorry. Working out alone again. What else can I tell you? I'm married now. I got married late. I got married uh, at 39. Any married people? Yeah. I got married late. I got married at 39. I have a, I have a seven-year-old and a two-year-old. And the other day I was doing a show and I said, I'm 49, or 48 years old and I'm changing diapers. And my wife goes, No, you're not. <laughs> but I got a two-year-old. And the other day, oh, no, big day. For those of you who raised kids, big day. She took her. My two-year-old took her first little poopy in her tiny little toilet. Is that big? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I know. So I did what any proud parent would do. I took a picture of it and put it on Facebook. I got 642 likes. I got one unlike. And I think I know who the little bitch is. A little redhead in daddy and me class. I'm gonna kick her right in the fucking huggies. Well, what else can I tell you? Um, so my daughter, where we, I don't know if you guys know this or if you guys remember, I went to the, the mall the other day, tried to get her ears pierced. She was about one, one and a half. And they said, how old's your daughter? And I said, one and a half. And they said, oh, we can't pierce her ears until she's two. You're kidding me. I'm Latino. 
like, uh, I like getting our ear pierced around like the first trimester, <laughs> right? And uh, they, so I was forced to get my daughter her first fake ID. <laughs> do what you got to do, right? And then, and you know, you just anybody who's potty trained knows that's a big deal, right? At two, almost getting your potty trained. You think that's a big deal? My wife's 36, just turned off her first light switch. <laughs> that's huge. I didn't, I didn't think she was capable. You know? Unless we were having sex, of course, because then it's like a little bit of Oh! We're married. We're married people? Married, uh, I love being, I love being married. My, my wife is wonderful, but uh, I, I think I got more action when I was 12. <laughs> I feel, like, I feel like I'm married to a dolphin. Because anytime I try to get any action, all I ever hear is ee, 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 ee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna take her out for a hundred dollars worth of sushi just to get laid. <laughs> I gotta walk around with like a chopped up dead squid in my pocket. <laughs> No, but I love being married. I, 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 again, I got married at 39, right? So I was ready. The last few girlfriends I had were just, just whacked out that bad ADD. You know what I'm talking about? But back in the day, we called it slutty whore. <laughs> you know, everybody, everybody's either got ADD or they're, or they're bipolar nowadays. You know what we called bipolar back in the day? Your period. <laughs> okay? you, know what, you know what they call a... Uh, PMS, PMS, because mad cow syndrome is already taken. <laughs> Don't be afraid to laugh. <laughs> what else can I tell you? Uh, da, da, da. So my real name is Gilberto Jose Ascarate Aiza. <laughs> I'm Colombian, Middle Eastern, and brought up in the porno capital of the world. <laughs> yeah, so there's no telling what's up my ass. <laughs> you know, think about it, Colombian and Arab. Do you think I'm being followed? <laughs> huh? Are you kidding me? Think, think about what it's like for somebody like me to get through airport security. Yeah? One look at my passport and I'm butt naked in the back room getting beat with a phone book. <laughs> While you're complaining, you gotta take your belt and your shoes off. <laughs> Alright? I got, uh, I got a car battery clamped to my nipples, and you guys are screaming that they stole your shampoo. <laughs> you know, I've got, I'm, getting, uh, I'm getting waterboarded, you guys are getting pre-boarded. <laughs> you want more? No, that's all I got. <laughs> but uh, we got tired of getting strip searched, so, uh, so now we just show up to the airport and all we're, getting, all we're wearing is a G-string and some pasties. <laughs> Yeah, and, and for uh, sanitary reasons, I bring my own glove and lubricants. <laughs> Last inspector had his hand so far up my ass, he reached my deductible. <laughs> Anybody ever heard my jokes before? Anybody? Nobody? Oh, good. Because <laughs> yeah, my jokes are like uh, your wife in lingerie. It's the same old shit, just in a different package. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ouch! Oh, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Let me see here. So, and I don't know what side of the family tree this came from, but I got the hairiest freaking legs in the world. <laughs> My God, I'm like half man, half Chewbacca. Uh, you know? I got so much hair on my ass, I could grow a tail. <laughs> so I tried, to get, I tried to get my ass waxed one time, and it hurt so bad I had to stop halfway through it. Yeah, now, now my ass looks like alien crop circles. <laughs> uh, uh, what else do I got? So being Colombian, I get, I get drug tested more than your average schmo. When I was corporate America, they used to truck test me all the time, so I... So the land last, it got obsessive, it just every week, it's just constant. And at first it started out with, you know, a urine test. Then they asked for a blood test. Then they asked for a stool sample. A semen sample.